Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United version. And today we're talking about the transfers that have just started in the Man United boiling room again. Now we're talking about sources from Spain have said Bale is coming to United, but on a half price for a one season loan. Would you take Gareth Bale at this moment in time? Yes, he is a great player, but he's very injury prone. Let's roll the tape back. He's won four Champions Leagues at, at Madrid, but they've never really accepted him as a Spanish Galactico. They really haven't. And that's the reason why he's finding a way out. And Zidane, on Zidane's second time around, he just doesn't fancy Bell. It's like Bell was supposed to be the new Ronaldo. But Ronaldo's left and he's did not, not delivered. He's more in the injury room, the rehabilitation room, than on the field. And when he's on the field, he doesn't deliver. So that's the problem Gareth Bell and Real Madrid have. So going forward, what Real Madrid need to do is offload him for one season and run out to look like the likely candidates to get Bell. I'll take Bell, but will he, can he stay fit is another issue. Can he stay fit? If he can't stay fit, then there's no point. But he is a great player. I think he'll work well on the left. He can play as a left winger, a right winger, or even as a, a, a main striker. You saw the two goals he scored against Liverpool in the Champions League last season. So he's not a bad player. He's not like injury prone like Johnson's injury prone, but crap. He's injury prone, but good. Yes, he's on the decline, but he still leads Wales. He still has that experience. He still has that football brain to make that great pass, that great shot, that great move, that great pace. So I would take him on a one-season loan and paying half his wages, which are six hundred thousand. We're going to pay three hundred thousand a week. Right, Lukaku. Lukaku. He played for Belgium, he scored two goals, but he plays in a Belgian team that can provide him goals. Any good striker with that team of midfielders behind them will give you goals. With uh, De Bruyne and uh, uh, Hazard supplying, you will get goals. But even you saw some clumsy passes from Lukaku, but he wants to go to Inter Milan because he said he loves Conte and Conte wants him. But United are holding firm on the price and are not willing to budge. I would take Lukaku, let him go, but if he goes, if Lukaku does go, if he does go, then we're down to three strikers. Everyone said 99, we had four strikers, 2008, we had four strikers, but this is not 2008, this is not 99. We're not chasing Champions League, we're not even chasing the title, we're just rebuilding. So if Lukaku goes, we'll have Sanchez, Greenwood, Martial, and Rashford. But will that be enough? If Lukaku leaves, would you want Lukaku go? If you don't need to go, if you want him to go, drop your comments at the bottom of this video. Drop your comments at the bottom. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Subscribe and share our videos and talk about what you think about Gareth Bale coming to United for one season loan. Lukaku leaving, would it be a pro or would it be a con? Would it be good for Lukaku to leave or Lukaku to stay? Because it looks like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does not fancy Lukaku at all. Because he played him on the wing and Yes, he, wa he wasn't really delivering. Let's call a spade a spade. I mean, Lukaku has lost a lot of confidence under Mourinho, under Solskjaer. So I don't think he's in Solskjaer's plans going forward. That's the way I see it. Anyway, drop us a like, share, don't forget to subscribe. So guys, we like it, the Man United direction. We are here talking about the transfers of Gareth Bale coming to United for a loan deal or Lukaku leaving. But United are holding on for 80 million dollars, 80 million pounds or 90 euros just to make sure they get every penny back. But I will get an exchange, I'll do an exchange deal with Lukaku. You see what I mean? So it doesn't have to be the same amount. I mean, Lukaku has kind of declined over the last couple, the last season. He was going backwards. So, I don't think his value will still be the high value he got when we bought him. So, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share our videos. I'm Tim Russell, so as you like it in Rana Dush. And we're talking about the transfers of United, the rumors, reels coming in from all directions. But this source from Spain, a friend of mine who lives in Spain, who is a Madrid fan, has told me that you know, uh, 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 Madrid want to offer United a loan deal of Bell for one season and if they like him, they'll buy him. But they don't want to pay 600000 a week. They want United to spare. They'll, they'll pay half. They're really, really, really willing to let Bell go on a loan season loan to United. But will he be an impact? We already have Daniel James. I like that Daniel James. I like uh, Bruno Fernandes. I'll take uh, 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 Basaki, you know? 
Wan Basaki, I'll take him, and I'll take Harry Maguire as a defender. Then Bell as an option. That will be United will be looking good, looking good. But don't forget subscribe, and we shall see you in our next video. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you like it. This is Tim. Goodbye and good night.